is uh, welcome to uh, this new month's market outlook, the month of February. So we're starting from gold. Uh, looking at gold from the monthly time frame, this is what we have uh, based off technical. So we just need to mark our highs and then our lows of the month and also our general highs and lows. Once we do that on the monthly, it will be able to tell us where the resistances are or the support areas are, demand, supply, order block, and all of that. Yeah, so looking at this from the monthly, if you look at the monthly, this is our all-time high on gold. Around this area, 2,148, that's our all-time high on gold. And this happened as a result of area, uh, this area being taken out, which was uh, 2,076. So once 2,000 area, 2,076 area was taken out, we had a new high, which was formed at uh, 2,148. So that becomes our all-time high on the monthly. So once we have our all-time high marked, uh, then the next thing we need to also see is the previous monthly highs and possibly the previous monthly lows. If we look at uh, last month, this was our monthly high, which was around this area, which is uh, the area 2000, 2078 as our <laughs> monthly high. So with that being said, there is a higher chance that this could be our resistance area if price is able to push up. So when gold strengthen again is the dollar, we can have our first resistance area, which will be around uh, 2078. And then we have 2148. So with that being said, we are done with the highs, which are formed on the monthly time frame with our all time high, and then also this monthly high. It's also important to understand what we have as our monthly lows and stuff like that. So if you look at the candle here, there was a serious consolidation around here, and then the market just broke out from here. This candle, this is the candle that took away all these highs, including this, this high here. So once we have that, if we do it like that, this becomes our uh, area of structural break, which will conform to this as being our monthly low. So we just bring it here to this previous monthly candle, this becomes our monthly low. Okay, so this is the candle, our monthly low, which corresponds to the break above this. So the moment we have this, we can possibly look for another monthly low, which will be here. So these are possible uh, support areas we have where the market constantly broke out. So if you extend this, you will also see this was the same candle that broke here. So now we have our clear supports and then our clear resistance is here, which were formed as a result of the market breaking out. So the moment we have that, we don't have any more information unless if we go further, of course, we can see more supports, but these two are enough. So the question that will come is, uh, what is gold actually looking like? So from this, you define your area of trading. And then if you cannot see more information, then you can go to a lower time frame, which will be our weekly time frame, and the weekly candle has just closed. So looking at gold from the weekly time frame, this is exactly how it looks like. So we have our supports defined here, and then our resistance is defined here, and then possibly another resistance here because we have a weekly high here that we need to mark. Just in case this is violated, this could actually hold. So once we have that clearly stated, you realize this week, last week which has passed, this was our weekly high, which was also, which acted as, a, as our resistance area because you saw this high was uh, was broken and then this high held price and this is what made gold to actually uh, move down into for about uh, around, uh, around 200, around 200 ish pips. So this movement came as a result of this weekly uh, resistance. So the moment you have this, then it is important for us to also mark this week that we are entering into the resistance, which will be, this is this will be our resistance area. So now we're originally waiting for this resistance. 
which was at 2078, and then this one here, which was at one 2148. So all of a sudden, we have a new resistance here. So meaning if price is able to fill this week, then we could actually have a double top here or a resistance here that we can see whether it will hold price, to be able to bring price to all the way to this support and stuff like that. Otherwise, if price continues to break, into these resistances, we could be heading to the all-time high. So once you are done with the monthly and the weekly, and you want to see more information here, we can now come to the hourly, uh, to the daily. And then on the daily, you see clearly how this uh, resistance was able to hold here, and then price reacting to that. So now we have this resistance, and then we have uh, that. So it seems price left here and it's headed all the way up and then to resist it here at once and then price is uh, looking bearish. So we want to see whether this bearishness will be able to continue or price will just pull back and go. So for us to see more, we have to come to the four hourly. So on the four hourly, if you look at this carefully, this resistance has held price and then there's a strong structural break. This candle here took away these lows here. This so this is another possible resistance area so if you look at this this is a strong candle break so the question would be now uh, if price pulls back to these areas and then we see a strong uh, resistance of this and then there is a higher chance price could head downwards otherwise this is what we have in gold yeah so there's no more we can do apart from uh, knowing our possible resistances and our support areas and then seeing and waiting for the market to be able to come and react to that area. So with that being said, we can switch to another uh, pair. For that case, let's look at the dollar index and then we can call it off for the dollar. So with the dollar index, we also need to understand it uh, from the monthly all the way. So we had our analysis and our views uh, for last week. So let's just catch up from there. So the dollar index is looking strong, but we just need to see those areas of break. So if you look at this candle here, this is where we had the break of structure to the downside. So this become our, our sub resistance area in case price pushes there, because we see this strong break that took away this low. And then looking at down here, where did the price market breakout? You look at this, this is our breakout, which is also a support down here because of this and now we have this information of the candle closing here this marubozu candle the way it has closed here indicating there is a strong uh, bullish pressure so with that being said we need to also mark this as our previous monthly high which will also act as our resistance so we have two resistance this and this and then once we don't have more information we can switch to a uh, lower time frame which will be our weekly time frame so on the weekly time frame this is what we have as our resistance and then this so and then now we can now because we are done with this we can come to the daily and see what is happening so on the daily this is what is happening so you can clearly see here the uh, market has been breaking these highs okay we have this structural break the same way we had this, this strong break and the market is doing that. So with that, you realize that the dollar is looking strong and we can, let's see whether this area will hold and then eventually this area before we can think about uh, these other highs here. And then maybe finally coming to the four hourly, this is what happened yesterday. I mean, the Fridays, non-farm payrolls and all of that. So this is what is happening now. And like we've been saying, price has been ranging around here, so you don't want to be caught up in the range. But now it looks like the range is about to be to end when price breaks above this. So that, that is what we have on the dollar. So generally it is actually ranging, so you just need to be careful on how you're going to trade it. All right, so let's switch off to other pairs that are not dollar related. So in that case, let's look at uh, some card pairs. So let's start with the AUD card, and then we want to see how it is going to play out uh, for this new month of February. So looking at AUD card from the monthly time frame, this is what we have. 
So if you look at this, you realize this is our monthly resistance area we have. And then from this monthly resistance here, price was able to break below this area. So that becomes our new resistance area. And then finally, we have all these lows here. That is going to be our support area. So we have price was originally heading upwards. And then we see this area holding price. And price is unable to break above. So it came and instead broke this low and is now headed to this support area. So once we have all this information that we need on the monthly, we can now come to the weekly and begin to also see how price is going to respond and react. You can clearly see here, this is the area which was taken out by this strong bearish candle. And then we had it retested and price is headed back all the way down to possibly these areas here. But it is important to realize that this candle here took away this high. So this could actually be our next possible resistance area. Okay, so if you push it all the way up to here because of these lows here, the weekly lows, you realize this is a support. I mean, so this will this support be able to hold price? That's what we shall need to see. Will it have a bounce on price maybe reacting? That's what we shall need to see. Then on the daily, this is, this is how it looks like. So we have this support holding price for a while. And now we have on the four hourly, a possible uh, double double bottom here because we see this area. So the question would be, will this have uh, the ability to hold price? So we're going to see the break below. So depending on more uh, understanding of this area here, we can easily determine whether there will be a pushback or there will be a break. So that's what we have on a card. But generally we are looking at this area as a minor support possibly, and then price breaks it and potential heads all the way up to here. So let's add in one more card pair before we can call it a day. So let's go to GBP card. So looking at GBP card on the monthly, this is how it looks like. So it's really looking very choppy, but we just need to mark our monthly highs and our monthly lows, and that can help us determine the resistance. So this is our monthly high. So let's see, and then these are our monthly lows. Let's put it like that because this area seems to have held price like thrice. So we have our support, our resistance coming to the weekly. This is what we have. So we can clearly tell that this area here, price, there was a breakout. So this will become our next spot. And then we have this breakout also to the downside. So resistance and then coming on to the daily this is what we will have on the daily you will begin to realize how this area is holding price daily lows and and how this break you look at this break this is actually what uh held price this break which is also our monthly uh, resistance so then maybe switching to the four hourly, this is what we have. So we have an area here, price is being held. Will it break below or hold price? So that's what we have on GPP card. So we're done with the card pairs. We can finally come to maybe uh, the JPY. So with the JPYs, let's go with CHF JPY, which is always at all time highs because the Swiss is generally stronger than the yen. And the yen has actually been uh, been weak in relation to the Swiss. So looking at uh, this, you will see this is our monthly high here. Okay. And then this is where there was a structural break. At the moment we have this, we can uh, switch to the weekly. And then on the weekly, this is what we have, resistance. And now we have this weekly lows, which is our support coming up to the daily. This is how it looks like. So we're seeing a tendency of price coming to an all-time high, and then possibly actually head downwards. So this is what we have.
FUI. Yeah. So and then finally, you can look at uh, the Bitcoin and see how Bitcoin is potentially performing. This is gold. So how is Bitcoin performing? So Bitcoin, we just need to mark our monthly high, which was this area. This is the resistance that uh, held price. This is what held price, <clears throat> which is also corresponding to our, um, it became our monthly high. And then we have this area of break, which is also our monthly low. So Bitcoin is trading and ranging around here and come to the weekly be able to understand it more. So on the weekly, this is what we have. So resistance and this, so when we come to daily, we want to see where structure broke. So we have structural break here, and then we have our daily high. So coming to the four hour, this is what we have, possible resistance and all of that. So that is it for the week. Uh, take care, trade well, look at the fundamentals that are happening this week so that you can also be able to uh, position yourself really, really, really well. So these are the fundamentals that are happening. Starting up on Monday, which will be 5th. So we only have, uh, it's going to be the US speech by Powell. And then on Tuesday, we're going to have Australian uh, rate statement. And then coming up Wednesday, we have employment change on the New Zealand. And then Thursday, we have an employment claims on the US dollar. And then Friday, we finish up with an employment rate and uh, Bullock's speech, the governor. So that's what we have. Take care. Thank you.